Hello everyone, Toby from AblenDrawer.com here. I want to show you today how you can set up smooth tempo transition in Ableton Live's session view. So this is not native. Possible, um, as you just could hear, the tempo wasn't just switching from one BPM to another. It was doing a smooth transition from 110 to 140. And this is all possible via the Automate Tempo BPM Max for Live device of mine, which is included in a whole Ableton Live control automate pack. So um, let us quickly go through this, how this is set up and how you can set this up for yourself. So obviously this is something um, which is really nice to use for session view. Uh, you don't want to just jump to different tempos. You want smooth transitions sometimes, especially when you're playing live and you want to take the crowd with you. So let's set this up and I show you how this works. So first of all, let's say we have this beat here, which we want to play in 110. So we define in the um, session tempo here, which you which will open up if you move the master view, if you go up with your mouse, and then you will see on the top left corner here, the mouse symbol will change to this bracket. And now you're able to move the tempo track, uh, the master track, sorry, the master track, make this a bit wider and then the whole um, tempo, session tempo view will pop up here. And now I can put in 110 and now the speed will play in 110 when I trigger the scene. You can see this here, 110. Okay, so now we want the next beat here, which is garage beat, and we want this to be set up in 140. So I define this as 140 here as well. You can hear that it's much faster because the broken halftime beat is halftime as well. Okay, so 110 to 140, and you don't want to switch um, just the tempo, you want to make a smooth transition and you will need a scene in between, which um, could be, should have a MIDI track here with the automate tempo BPM. We want to create a MIDI dummy clip and we just can click on an empty clip slot here or command shift M um, on the selected clip slot. And then we want this track here, or this clip here, sorry, this clip to be have the length of two bars. We want a transition of two bars here. We now need to select the envelope for the BPM for the device and we need to set a breakpoint here. Just click on the red line and now we can right click on this breakpoint here and go to edit value and now we are able to put in a value which should be 110 because that's where we're starting from the first beat and now we're gonna add another breakpoint at the end here and we go to right click edit value here again and we put in 1. 40. So now we have this tempo ramp here. So if we just listen to the tempo ramp and the metronome and you can see it's changing and obviously this is looping at the moment, which is not really nice. So we could turn the loop off here, for example, or we just could set up and this is the next part here. We could set up scene follow actions. So we actually want this beat to jump, let's say after two bars to the next scene, um, applying this tempo change. And then we want this uh, scene to trigger the next scene here as well, which then should be in 140. Okay, so uh, scene follow actions are being set up. If you click on master and then to select the scene, you can activate follow action let's set the action time to two bars so after two bars now the next scene will be triggered and there's one more thing we need to watch out for here because if now the next scene is being triggered this first beat will stop i'll quickly show you that so we have one bar two three four and now the next scene is triggered which has our um, transition tempo clip on here but the first beat is being stopped because we have a stop button here and if this whole scene is being triggered the stop will trigger this clip to stop so what we need to do is we want to remove the stop button here so we're gonna go right click remove stop button or you can use the shortcut command or control e 
And now this clip will still be playing. So let's do this once more. One, two, three, four. And now the clip is still playing during the tempo change is happening here. Okay, so now we need to set up one more scene follow action here. So right click, no, sorry, master and selecting the right scene and select this follow action here, action time two bars as well. So now what is happening? The first scene is being triggered, which is triggering this beat and the tempo 110. Then the scene follow action will trigger the next scene. So we will trigger our transition clip with our tempo, smooth tempo change here. And then scene follow action will trigger the next scene here, which then is switching to the next beat. Plus the first beat is being stopped because we still have the stop button in here. So let's have a listen to that. So 110, two bars. Now we're going into the transition tempo. Clip is still playing. And now we're in the next beat at 140. Obviously you can do this with many more clips and many more um, audio material here. Just make sure to remove the stop buttons and to apply those where they should be. Awesome. So this is a Max for Life device. Max for Life is included in Ableton Live Suite or can be bought as an add-on towards Ableton Live Standard. So if you don't have Ableton Live yet or if you only have um, Ableton Live Intro or Standard and you want to check this out, you can always get the free Ableton Live Suite trial which is fully functional for three months. Okay, so the device is available as part of a pack for automating and controlling lots of things in Ableton Live. Links in the video description or at Ableton Drama. Cheers. Bye-bye.